welcome to the My Mailhouse Knowledge Center. Today we're going to talk about how to print and mail a QuickBooks invoice directly out of QuickBooks using the My Mailhouse. As you can see, I've already opened up an invoice, and at the bottom is the Print or Preview button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then it's going to open the Print Preview window. You can see my invoice is there. Now I am going to go up the upper left-hand corner, and there's a print icon right here, and that's going to pull up the available printers on my computer. Since I've already installed my mailhouse, you can see that that print option is available. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hit print. Now what's going to happen is the My Mailhouse tool will automatically open and pull the QuickBooks invoice into the tool for processing. First thing it's going to do is ask me for my login credentials. Go ahead and put in my password. And now it'll pull up the window that asks me to choose what USPS option I want to mail. In this case, I'm going to choose first class mail, and on the next window, we're going to use to identify the address that we're actually sending the invoice to. And you can see that the green box here represents the window on our envelope, and what we want to do is circle the address, and then that'll be added to our cover page so that the address lines up correctly in the window of the envelope. So we do that by clicking and circling the address, and you can see that I've not circled bill 2 because I don't want that to appear on my cover sheet. I'm going to choose OK single and then the next window will show me how I've actually captured the address that we're going to send that to. Now that we have the address, my mailhouse 6680 Argonne Street, well, this is where we're going to send it. I've got my return address and you can see over here that I've got two windows. One is the cover sheet and the second one is the actual document or invoice that I'm sending out. I'm going to go ahead and click next and now what it's going to ask me for is my CAS and NCOA options. We do this because that provides us with uh, postage savings that's pretty significant. So I'm going to click on free NCOA and CAS and now it's going to pull up my different printing options. I want to choose full color because my invoice and my logos are in color. I also want to do one-sided because I want the invoice delivered to the customer as printed on one side. I'll go ahead and hit checkout. And you can see that I've now got my uh, window for uh, my shopping cart. I've produced one document. It has two pages. Again, it's the cover sheet and it's the actual invoice itself. I've got my printing options, my print and postage. I'm going to go ahead and print send and away it goes after I put in my password. And now we're done. At this point if you've added credits ahead of time your invoice will send without any issues. If you need to just pay for the invoice that you're sending it'll ask you to put in credits at that point. That's all for now uh, and again if you have additional questions you can always contact us at support at mymailhouse.net. Thank you.